going to uh, do a batch pop up right here and I'm going to pop this up and then we're going to come over here and you see this pop up happened okay so now if I hit yes now keep in mind I want you to look in the code keep in mind if I hit yes it's going to unlatch this bit it's going to unlatch this sealing circuit and it's also going to count on one of these counters either a good batch or a bad batch okay so if I say yes it was a good batch okay and then I close it come over here it should have unlatched the sealing circuit and it counted a one right here under the batch okay so the VBA code is what called the screen up all right in this video what we're going to do is a pop-up screen with factory talk se now we're going to do this with VBA code so we're going to actually show you a lot of different things that we can do to actually have the screen pop up from an H or from a actual PLC tag so when a PLC tag and I'll show you I've added some logic I've added some logic to say when the batch is complete that we should pop up a screen and we ask the operator if it was a good batch or a bad batch and we just count the batches that simple but we're, we need to actually understand how to do a pop-up screen on our natural on our natural HMI system so what we're gonna do is this screen I've already made this screen to save us some time we're gonna actually come in and show you how to do this so first if we want to pop up the screen let's talk about this for just a second we need to understand a couple different things first we need to have a macro so I'm gonna make a macro right here and I'm gonna call this a new macro and we're just gonna say display okay or, or better yet, instead of just typing it, what you can do is just double click and then come over here to display, right? Navigation, display, and then pick your display up here. Now this is gonna be the screen that I made, it's called after batch question. All right, so then I'm just gonna hit finish and that's all I have to do on that macro. Now I'm gonna close that macro and I'm gonna put a name on it. I'm gonna put this, uh, let's just call this batch question for the for the actual name right so we keep it the macro name pretty simple to exactly what the process is right so we're gonna close that so now we have a macro called batch um, batch uh, question right here so this is now again we've made the screen <clears throat> I'm gonna save the screen now I'm gonna come back up here and understand where I'm at as far as like when you're when you're doing a VBA code you need to or when you're doing a pop-up screen and you want it to pop up any time no it doesn't matter what screen you're on meaning no matter if you're on like just to say for instance if I'm on the control screen or if I'm on the alarm screen it doesn't matter I want the HMI to pop this button up any given time or this screen up any given time right there's a couple things you need to be aware of and I'll show you this so first let's come up here to our our screen make sure your screen is on top right so as far as the properties of the screen do not have it as replace or overlay have it on top okay and you can change the name of this for the title bar uh, uh, batch status we'll call that batch status we'll put that in there and we'll save this and we'll call that okay so that's good so keeping in mind we want to be able to call it from anywhere so we need to do this on a global some some kind of global thing that stays all the time so that just happens to be our header okay our header bar stays all the time it's going to be on our HMI the whole time on our client the whole time that the clients running our header bar will be there so first you need to come in here and you're going to come into uh, numeric displays right and in numeric displays what you're going to do is you're going to grab the numeric display okay you're going to come up here and you're going to just make a numeric display up here all right and the expression of this this right here right the expression you're going to put in here is going to be the actual um we'll come in here and i'll show you where well, the expression right here is going to be this pop-up screen okay so this is going to be this button so let's go over here. Let's refresh our tags first. 
because we just added that logic and then we're going to get the pop-up screen button which that's why we named it a pop-up screen uh, to keep it simple and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to get the pop-up screen okay so now we have our variable in there and you're going to probably ask yourself why right so I'm going to show you this real quick go to common and we're going to name we're going to actually first we're going to turn off the visibility now this means we're not going to be able to see it on the actual screen okay we're not going to be able to see it on the HMI that's we don't want to see this we just want to use this we're going to utilize this in the VBA code now in the VBA code I want this element this numeric display to be named something that I can actually understand I know what it is right so what it, I'm gonna say is let's just call this batch let's call this batch question right so batch question all right so that's what we'll put and get my spelling right um, as you know I'm not the world's best at spelling sometimes our my fingers get the type in it uh, you know as the I'm not a keyboard expert really um, when it comes into it that's what we're gonna name it and we're gonna name it for a certain reason so we're gonna come in here hit apply now we're gonna come over here and we're going to make sure that the VBA code right here it says exposed to VBA code right now it says not exposed we're gonna change that to VBA control okay this is very important change that to very and this so right now that element is able to be VBA controlled now we're gonna open this up and we're going to open the VBA code alright now the VBA code is open and this in this instance we called this screen batch question remember we call that batch question so right here I'm going to paste this code right I'm gonna paste some code in here and we're going to change it I'm gonna show you why so I'm getting this code off of a Rockwell knowledge base so this is all I'm gonna explain this code to you while we edit it because we will have to edit it okay this right here is what the name of the element that we're using okay this is the name of that element see remember that batch question this is why this is important so we're gonna come in here we're gonna go oh, over here to our um, display over here and we're gonna change this where it says numeric uh, display number and we're going to change this right here these two elements so don't worry about that right now it's going to error out and we're going to paste in up oh, let me actually undo that let's grab this right here which is our batch question that's what we named it we're going to paste that in there and then we're going to go dot now if you paste something in here and you don't and then you hit dot and it does not drop down that means you haven't done the process right so we want the value okay and then we want the same thing over here so I'm gonna grab right here I'm gonna paste that in there and I'm gonna go dot value so what we're gonna say here is if there is if there is an error with the VBA code then we want to put the uh, VBA code we're gonna pop up diagnostics and show that there is an error so we're gonna we're going to populate an error in diagnostics. Now, with that being said, if there's not an error, then so if there's not an error with this, then what we're going to do is if the value of this of of the actual element that we put in the numeric display is equal to 1, then we want to execute a command. What command would that be? That command needs to be our actual this uh, batch question right here so we need to copy this we're gonna basically copy the name okay go back in our VBA code and then we're gonna populate this string so this is what we're going to actually populate we're gonna execute the command batch question which that batch question is going to populate our macro and our macro is going to run the pop-up so in turn as soon as this happens right as soon as this statement is equal to one which all it is is essentially is a bit right as soon as that bit equals one then it's going to it's going to call our macro and our macro is going to pop up our screen 
So all we need to do now in our VBA code is save the VBA code, close it, and again, keep that in mind, over here on our numeric display, we're populating this with the, the pop-up screen button. So when that pop-up screen button right here goes to a value of one, that is when in the VBA code, this batch question right here that we we actually named it, that's when that value will change. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so we have this done. We have everything in here, right? We've done the we've done the uh, macro, right? All right, so I'm going to actually run the client real quick. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pop the client up so you can see. Now I want you to know too. There's something very critical here. Is if you have made a change to a global a screen that is global it doesn't change whatsoever unless you refresh it that's not going to take effect right so meaning if this client was already running and I did this change I would have to turn the client off or uh, cycle the client refresh it to get that to work uh, the reason being is because in, in uh, factory talk site edition you have to refresh the screen when you make a change right um, and generally speaking you will not use caching so if you do use caching you need to clear your cache just to keep that in mind alright so I'm gonna show you this working alright so we have everything in here um, now currently I'm what I'm gonna do instead of running a whole batch now you see this is my top header you do not see any numeric display up here right because we put the visibility to zero alright so keep that in mind alright so the command yeah okay so no worries alright so we have this pop up over here that that's our batch controls alright just want to show you that now we're gonna to go to our alarm screen and see this this top header is still there okay so the the top header is still there If I go back to batching the top header is still there it's a global feature that's what I was talking about with keeping it on a global feature alright so what we're gonna do here is we're going to I'm going to uh, do a batch pop up right here and I'm going to pop this up and then we're going to come over here and you see this pop-up happened okay so now if I hit yes now keep in mind I want you to look in the code keep in mind if I hit yes it's going to unlatch this bit it's going to unlatch this seal in circuit and it's also going to count on one of these counters either a good batch or a bad batch okay so if I say yes it was a good batch okay and then I close it, come over here, it should have unlatched the sealant circuit, and it counted a one right here under the batch. Okay, so the VBA code is what called the screen up. And that's the only thing that can call the screen up is the VBA code. So let's do that one more time so you can see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a batch complete, which basically is gonna seal in that circuit. The screen pops up. This time I'm gonna hit no. Okay, just so you can see it working. And then I'm gonna come in my code, and you see in the code it counted a one over here. Right, so it's and I'll let me get this view up so you can see it a little bit better. Alright, so it's real simple, right? It's real simple. Ceiling logic right here. Now notice the screen's not up right now. Now I'm gonna do a different thing. I'm gonna go on the alarm screen just so you can see it on a different screen. Alright, so we're gonna come back into our code. We're gonna pop it up again. And you see right here, this comes in as a pop-up. If I hit yes, comes over there, close it, and I seal it. I unlatch my sealant circuit and I count it again on my batches. So with that said, the way to do it, the way to actually properly execute a pop-up is to actually have a hidden um, hidden element right here, which is a numeric display. Have that numeric display triggered the VBA code control. In the VBA code, write a small script. Real simple, what that, that script was, right? We'll go ahead and pull up the VBA code so you can see the VBA code again. And let's see if we can't get the view a little bit better. Um, well, so the, there's the VBA code right there. And again, you will have to change your VBA code to match what I'm talking about. So again uh, that's why we named our actual uh, numeric display 
and then we come over here and use the dot value and then that way we use the dot value right here and if there's an error in all of this code or any of this code it will actually go to our FTView diagnostics that's what's uh, that's why these error codes are in here right so that goes to the error handler and that does all that work for us so with that note you have to make this macro which is very simple we showed you how to make a very 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 simple macro and tie everything in that's a good good solid way to make a pop-up screen inside of factory talk se doesn't matter what version you're in doesn't matter if you're on version uh, 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, 12 it doesn't matter which factory talk se site edition version you on that is the best way to actually do that with VBA code to pop up a screen and not have such a headache now I have heard people using elements or events over here to actually do that but events do tend to have problems the VBA code and and all efforts and everything I've seen in my history of using it is the best way to do that so I wanted to show that in a um, in this video to give a very detailed video on how to actually do that and be helpful and spread the knowledge as much as we possibly can so with all that said we'll see you guys on the next one